We're going to talk now, Alan, about Jamie Vardy. Obviously, uh, full England debut in that he played for 90 minutes at the weekend. He's come a long way, hasn't he? Well, absolutely, John. But before we get on to that, can, can we sort of make a bit of an appeal, please, to 100% LCFC and try and change these bloody mics? They're <laughs> massive. They're huge. <laughs> but you've got to keep them right up to your gob or you can't hear anything. Right, message for Phil Holloway. It, Back to Jamie Vardy, John. Yeah, but obviously come a long way. So yeah, you know. absolutely. Fleetwood, Stocks, Stocks, Bridge, Steels, I think it was, Halifax Town, where I've played, what a place that is. Um, Sheffield boy, Sheffield Wednesday, I think, had him as a boy, but did he get any a wee bit of trouble at the, at the Centre for Excellence or something, John, because he never, or did he know, mm. because of his frame and his slightness, did he, did, you know, these coaches want big, massive machines, big muscular things that can run the 100 metres in 5.5 seconds. Was Jamie not like that as a young boy? But he emerged at Fleetwood, and what about a what a great story that is? He went when he when he went away with Fleetwood. He had to come off sometimes at half time or in the second half because he had to get back home because he was on a curfew and he had one of them things round his ankle, one of those tags round his ankle. So he had to get back mm -hmm. so he couldn't play the whole game <laughs> when he was playing away from home. That's true that. Yeah, I remember trip. reading that. Yeah. That's uh, so that that's that's Jamie how he starts. What's going through his head? He's 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 bum, bumming around with some of his mates at the time, you know, on the Saturday night and stuff. You can see Jamie being a bit of a lad, a bit of a jack the lad. But all of a sudden, he scores a couple of goals at Fleetwood Town. One of them I've seen, John, and it's unbelievable. It's a left, it's a left footer as well, by the way. We'll come to that in a wee while. But look at him now. He's an England player. He's two caps for England. Uh, he's represented his country at home and abroad. He's got a chance to start in the game on Tuesday, which we all hope he does. And it's all because Nigel Pearson had faith in him and paid a million pounds for him. But when he came to Leicester, it took him a while, in, in fairness, oh. to kind of settle in, didn't well, it? Well, it would, John, wouldn't it? I mean, you don't... When you, once you... Once you, once you pass all your exam and you're, a, you're a, an electrician, you can't just go straight to it, you know, start mucking yeah. about with wires. You've got to build up that wee bit of experience. And it did take Jamie a wee while, but people had faith in him, uh, especially the manager at that time and, and the coaching staff. And what's more importantly, the players. The players accepted him. I remember the first game he played at Burton Albion away, uh, pre-season, him and David Nugent were up front and they were terrific together. It was as, it was as though they'd been together all their lives, and they set each other up for goals. And I spoke to Nigel afterwards about Jamie, and he says, "Wait and see. You've not seen anything yet." So, I bet he misses David a bit. Actually, obviously he's moved on now, isn't he, to Middlesbrough? Oh yeah, you do. Um, I remember saying that to Gary Lineker when I came back, uh, when I left to go to Sheffield United, and I said, did you miss me? He said, no. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, of course you do, because you build up relationships, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch. I'm quite sure they're good pals off the pitch. David Nugent, lovely lad, always a smile on his face. Vards is pretty much the same, they're a great temperament. So yeah, I, I think you do, but that's it, that's it's where it is. It's Okazaki that's up front with him at the minute. It might be Kramaric next week. It might be Joe the week after. It might be Jamie on the bench, which I don't think he's done yet. I don't think he's been substituted yet. It may be corrected, but he gets on with the job, doesn't he? And, and, and he's reaping the rewards, and quite rightly so. Obviously, another England game to go. And we, as, as we're talking now, he's played a, a full 90 minutes. Uh, obviously, it's a proud moment for Leicester fans, isn't it, really? Seeing one of your players uh, play it's for the England fantastic, team. fantastic, John, isn't it? It's wonderful. I mean, even even if you talk about Wales, you, you watch Wales because it's Andy King. Yeah. You watch Switzerland because it's Isler. You watch Japan because it's Okazaki. You know, you watch all these players because they're our players and you want them to win. And uh, it, it's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Watched Jamie. I felt a wee bit sorry for him against San Marino. I thought he was asked to do a job that he's no use to. And also that... the. the the pitch affected everybody, I thought it was yeah, an absolute it was, disgrace. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, and the one thing I can maybe criticise Jamie for, he was through and he tried to play Rooney, tried to square one across to Rooney. Just bobbled in it, it, yeah. Hit it, son. Yeah. Just hit it. And the goalkeeper parries it and Rooney gets his goal, maybe. But 
had he had a shot and it goes wide or he missed kicks or something, do the other players sort of go, aye, aye. You know, what's, where's, where's the team player in, in that? But I always say if you're a striker, don't pass the ball in the penalty area unless somebody is odds on to score. And uh, Aston Villa at home is the next game. He's going to get a big reception there, isn't he, I think? He'll get a huge reception. I think they'll be the first first name that they'll start singing um, when, when the players come onto the pitch. I can't wait for it now. I honestly can't wait because we have got such an exciting squad of players now. Um, and we've got so many internationals, John. I mean, we could put a team of internationals out. And we could put, mm. we, we are in a position now, we're in such a strong position that I truly believe we could put uh, just about two teams into the Premiership and they'd both do well. Thanks very much, uh, Alan Young, then, and myself. Is that uh, it? Good luck for Jamie Vardy. We're going to talk more about the, um, the Villa game. You've only just come in the door. I know. You were about half I'm an hour late. <laughs> and now you're I saying that's I was five minutes I've been here since nine o'clock. Yeah, well, you're too early. Can we get somebody else to do this job? Yeah. I want to, I want to resign. Yeah, good. Thanks. <laughs> See ya. It's your city, your team. We're still Premier League. Let's hear it.